Okay, what we have here are some rechargeable tea candles. These are uh, something that uh, my wife really likes to have around the house, and usually they take these, um, like the CR2032 batteries, which are kind of expensive to replace, kind of a pain. So with these guys, you can recharge them. It's got a little charger plate that I'm gonna show you, and uh, supposedly they're good for 100 hours on a charge, so, and then when you're done, you just pop them back in. Um, so I'm gonna uh, unbox these things, take a look at them, get them charged, and see how they work. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we got in this uh, tea candle box. Move the box out of the way. We have the normal uh, instruction manual you would expect with something like this. Nice little note from the manufacturer. And here we have the actual charging pad where the tea candles are going to get dropped onto. The tea candles themselves that are going to go on here. I think their uh, charging system is uh, like a magnetic system, so um, they don't actually, I don't know if they actually have to make uh, physical contact. Or not. So there's the tea candles themselves. We have a remote, uh, a charger. You'll note this is a proprietary charger. We don't have any uh, USB connection there, so don't lose this charger because if you lose it, you're in a world of trouble. And then finally, these little discs that you can use to stick the key tea candles to a wall or whatever. By the way, here's a closer look at one of the actual tea candles with the uh, styrofoam taken out. So, all right, I consulted with my wife, and she told me that you can uh, display them in, or in these colored, in these uh, little plastic cones or outside, and they look good either way. So I got them plugged in the charger right now, and you can see each one of them has like a little red ET heartbeat in the well. It's not beating, but a little glow in the middle. I assume that means they're charging. And so we're gonna get them all charged up. And then what I really wanna see is if they really run for 100 hours on a charge, that'd be really cool. So let's get them charged up. And so all those little red lights have gone out. The only thing that's there is the red light from the charger. So these guys are ready to deploy. Let's take them out and put them around the room and see okay, how they these look. lights look quite nice. They have a power switch on the bottom and you actually have to turn that power switch on before you can use this remote. And you can see the remote has on off timers and you can set it between candle and light mode. So let me show you the difference between candle and light mode. Right now, they're in light mode. If you switch it to candle, you get a flickering effect. It's not a very pronounced flickering effect, but it's there. If I switch it back, if I switch it back to light, then that flickering goes away. Well, if I switch it back to light, the flickering goes away. You know, the video is not doing proper justice here, so they are not flickering anymore after I turned that off. Can also uh, turn the intensity, the uh, intent luminosity up and down. So I'm going to try turning the luminosity way down. Steps down, 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 down. And again, I don't think the video is doing credit to these, so I'm apologize for that. But they are nice and dim right now, so working fine. But you got to turn them on on the bottom before you can use the remote control. I'm going to say this remote control is not as strong as I'd like. So I'm about six feet away from these candles right now. That's not very far for an infrared remote control. You'd expect it to work. So I'm going to push power on. Power on. Two of them came on, power on, two more came on, power on, power on, power on. I can't get that last one to come on, so I gotta go up real close. Power on, finally works. <clears throat> I don't know where the sensor is. I'm gonna have to look in the manual and see if it says power off, power off, power off, power off, power off, <laughs> power off, power off. Okay, so mm, remote control is not as good as I'd like it to be. So that means like when I put it on the two hour timer, I'm not really gonna know if I'm actually have got the timer to work. So I love these rechargeable tea candles. They're really nice, they look good, um, and the battery life is fantastic. Um, I wish I could give them five stars, but there's two big problems. One, the remote control just, uh, doesn't work very good, very well at all. The, the fact that I have to push the remote three times to get six candles to turn on from six feet away is uh, not acceptable. And the second is that I can't get additional candles. So I've got a charging plate and six candles. If I wanna get another six candles or another 12 candles, I have to buy two more charging plates. It doesn't make sense. So those two things really uh, drop the score on these guys down. So uh, I'm hoping that they can fix both of those problems, but uh, well, we'll see. Hi, I just wanna let you know that uh, I am honored by Amazon to be in the Vine program and I take it very seriously. I work really hard with my family to do reviews on these products. Um, we have a lot of fun doing it. We get to see a lot of interesting things. And what I hope more than anything is that my reviews help you make good selections for your products. If they do, that's good for you, it's good for me, and it's good for Amazon. Uh, hope you enjoyed the review.